Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all well. Yes, we are back with Total War Troy and our um, Odysseus campaign. And um, having a lot of fun with it so far. So, I never really played um, Odysseus very far uh, when the game originally came out. A little play around with them, but I concentrated mostly on the Trojan factions. So, Apart from maybe the first 15 turns, everything since then is pretty new, which is nice. And also we can sort of see the introductions of the uh, mythic um, changes. So we haven't gone on a mythic expedition yet, which is something we want to do at some point. Um, and I guess actually we're getting to the point where we could probably afford it. Seems pretty expensive if you've got to recruit a hunting army for a one-off battle. Unless we keep this hunting party for maybe future hunts? I don't know. Um, so we hire a commander. Can we hire one that we've already... Could we hire... Antiphos. No, he's not the one that we. We have a level five here, don't we? Um, which we just disbanded. Yeah, there he is. So when's he back? Four more turns. Yeah. Um, let's see about. Um, what would we want an army of nine to consist of? I'd quite like an exemplary ambusher. We don't want island warriors, they're not very good. Heavy skirmishes are nice, expensive. We've got loads of bronze, it has to be said. Um, spear runners. We could go to the cheaper version of ambushes, couldn't we? Um, so we could say our three regular ambushes, then a couple of. Oh no, they're the wrong ones. Where's the heavy. Um, yeah, heavy sword skirmishes. That's what I was thinking. And then maybe four regular skirmishes. Uh, we need a hero. You know, when I fired this up, I wasn't thinking of launching this hunt straight away. Um, but we could actually afford it, by the looks of it. Administration costs 14. Mm, okay. That's because of the higher tier units. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we just need to pick a hero. So let's pick someone that might be useful in the future as well. So we don't want him. Again, I'm looking for sort of the warlord, commanders, mentors. Plus one for Aphrodite respected. Well, she certainly is. And garrisoned. That looks really good. Doesn't want to end his turn in enemy territory. Well, there we go. So that's going to use up half of our food almost. Do we want to. We've got the goal, to be honest, to have the better um, 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 ambushes. So if we just sort of compare. So they, these guys, not as good in melee. But as far as the missile damage is concerned, pretty much the same. Well, it is exactly the same. Um, obviously, they don't have snipe. Um, We 
don't know what we're going to um, go up against. Come on, get rid of that unit card so I can see what the writing says. So we have to prepare a hunting party to venture out into the wilds on the trail of a mythical beast. Choose a leader, hire the units, outfit them with supplies in order to reach the creature's lair. Be careful for the path will be perilous and your warriors will need to be ready for an epic battle. Maybe we shouldn't skimp. Uh, screen's frozen, game's frozen, and it's crashed. Oh, great. <laughs> Let's restart that. Well, that wasn't good, was it? At least we haven't done too much. Alright, so let's go straight back in. Hopefully we're not going to repeat the crash. So which one of these did we pick? I think it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah. Like Aphrodite and Garrisoning. So I'm thinking... Um, yeah, we were saying let's not skimp. So if we go for... 3, 3, and 3. Alright, so we can launch the expedition. Army strength. I'm sort of showing 2 bars. Do we need to be worried? Do we want to show 3 bars? If we went for all heavy, we can afford it. Still only two dark bars so then we're down to red all right we're gonna go for it so uh, Half our food, almost all our bronze, quite a bit of our gold, yikes, this is expensive. Are you ready to spend your resources? Well, mm, yeah, sort of. Alright, our mythic expedition is underway. Now, in the meantime, what else were we doing? Let's upgrade Kydernia. Also upgrade that for more happiness. We don't need it at the moment though, we're maintaining happiness. Um, let's get some more bronze. That's probably as much as we can do. Alright, so we've got our army somewhere around here. There we are. Let's just go for normal movement for the moment. We want to head to Pylea. Well, we know they've hardly got any forces, so let's just get up to the coast. So they're going to recruit a few more units, but can't tell how many they've got in that army. Alright, so a decent amount. We didn't suffer too much attrition. So hopefully we'll be in a good position to take that next turn. And uh, yeah, with that, let's end our turn. Keep our 
some gold. We're going to have some big outlays of gold later on for tech, for our units. Garrison. So we can do Murmurs of Sedition. So that's going to weaken the garrison a little bit. Or we could poison one of the armies. So there's a level 3. So what's that? Um, eight, 9 units, looks like. We can't s quite see the one behind there. for a couple of fights if we target one of their leaders outside. Let's just see what else there is to do. So let's have a look at our expedition. It didn't tell us anything. So we can't start this quest battle. So something looks like we're going to have five stages. Currently no expedition effects are taking place. We can abandon the expedition. Don't want to do that. Okay. King Odysseus. Keep Aphrodite happy. for more growth, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, we could also build our ambusher chain, then we can recruit a little bit closer without having to use our um, hidden layers or whatever they're called. Let's leave it for the moment. Okay, so where is Manoa? Here we are. Easiest way to find our units. Let's attack these guys outside. Okay, so. I've got quite a few units. They're going to come in though as reinforcements. So. Let's just find it. these as soon as possible. So 
So where so we've got reinforcements coming in there. We could just deploy straight forward here, couldn't we? Why don't we do that? Did you get the healing? Yes, you did. All right, let's move you in. And yeah, let's just swoop down. We can run all these guys off the battlefield. That will be ideal. Before those reaches. Wow, no well, they didn't have much then, did they? Alright, let's get into combat. damage and Odysseus can shoot at him. How are we doing here? Okay let's put these guys to flank around the back. You may as 
well. Come back, target them. Oh, come on, we don't want those getting wiped out. However, you will be fine against. Shoot at that leader. I need to chase those guys. The wires have been routed. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's their leader doing the damage. I think we might. Let's just pull them back. Must be about to break, surely. So let's get our centaurs. Yeah, they're broken. I don't really want to fight the spears with our horsemen, our centaurs. Oh my god, they've got more coming in. happen. Let you go hand to hand. Uh, okay, they're running away. We need you to stop focusing over here. Shattered, they're shattered. They're all shattered. Don't need to chase them. them rather than us. To get our guys a little bit. Oh, wow, Odysseus is running away. Alright, heal Odysseus.
broken, so it'd be good to keep chasing them. Okay, why don't you chase them and you turn back against their leader? Make sure that we wipe out these units as much as we can, anyway. this one few of their units around. We've got only one of their leaders. Well, we're obviously taking replenishment. manually.
those. The enemy is receiving reinforcements. Forward then, so stopping before they reach us. Okay, they're coming around the side here as well. units have no more ammunition. Come on, take off. Come on. Oh, come on, get you out of that. to losing our oh, griffin. <laughs> Decisive victory. Okay, yeah. so we've got some exceptional warriors that we can recruit here. Our administration's gone up to the tier three. Let me find another weapon. More importantly though, we destroyed that faction and we didn't lose any of our units. And we got a gold settlement. Excellent. Right, so we've got to take Acacia to complete that province. Who are they allied with? I'm ready to talk. Trading? Well, that's really friendly with us. Could ally with them and try and confederate them in the future. Because we also need to take these three provinces. We've got a mission to build something in... Where was it? Construct 
the specified building. So we've got to build the labyrinth gardens in um, one of these provinces. So let's just have a look at the building roster. So the labyrinth, labyrinth gardens. All right, so tier three can go to the labyrinth palace. So we want to build that in Nassos. Oh, it gives us a nice favour with Zeus. Maybe we should build a temple to Zeus somewhere next as well. Alright. We could upgrade to tier 3. Doesn't help our happiness though. Happiness is a little bit dicey. for the moment anyway. Okay, there's nothing else to do, is there? Apart from potentially upgrade some of our buildings. What do we want to do down here? We've got two free building slots. So we're going to have three, so one of those slots it's going to be for that building, Cyclops Cave. We could build a garrison building. Maybe as the second slot. Or we could go food. That wouldn't be bad. That's worth it. Maybe food. We're fine on um, public order. Let's go more food for the moment. And that will cost us two more public order. Five more if we upgrade it. I'm not sure about that then. Probably take, take that building, more gold. I'm not going to be recruiting anything down here, so yeah. Okay, that will do. Let's just end the turn. Oh, we've got an assigned point for Odysseus. Uh, did we max this out? I don't think so. So extra speed during a siege battle or a land battle. Um, land battle. Argive kings once prided themselves on their fertile Lernian territories, gifted to them by Poseidon himself. In those long ago days, the Hydra slept and grew, fattened on lamb sacrifices and stray travellers. Lernians didn't mind parting with some of their plentiful flocks. It was Hera herself that demanded her pet monster be fed. As for the travellers, you prepare to be one of them, though you hope not to share their fate. You'll be hunting for the monster's immortal head, buried on Heracles, buried by Heracles after he slew it. 
We learn there is no longer as it once was. It is a poisoned land and barren ever since it was cursed. Ah, ever since it was cursed with the Hydra's disemboweled corpse festered upon the once verdant lands and crystal clear streams. No outside are dare tread there except you. You have to be ready. All right. So it looks like I've got four options. So look for the hardy companions. Homebrewed healing mixtures are likely to be as harmful as they are protective. You will have fewer yet stronger warriors. Look for followers among the locals. Archive warriors look to join you, the more the merrier. Accept the help of followers of Ilios. Ilios was a friend to Heracles. His followers will certainly be a friend to you or offer a wandering centaur tribe to join you. Centaurs tend to have a volatile mix with other races. They will join you but might cause trouble in the future. Uh, which one should we go for? I don't think I want the centaurs. Uh, I'm guessing those are sort of just going to be some low tier units maybe. Here we'll get fewer but hardier, higher tier units. And I don't know about this one. Hardy companions. Let's go for hardy companions. Alright. So yeah we I think that's the same as what we've read, isn't it? You asked uh, you ask some of the local healers to concoct a carefully dosed astringent mixture of hemlock, wolfsbane, and black hellebore that would strengthen both the bodies and the minds of those who would follow you, or else kill them. It is a harsh rite of passage, but one that all your warriors undergo willingly. Not all come out the other side. Okay. Your units have lost some of their health. Got healing mixture, 20% damage resistance, units have gained experience. Hmm, okay, I'm not sure whether that was the best choice, but it's done. Okay, so got a new mission. Just telling us we've got to capture more land. So we've got to annex roads. Through conquest you can continue the legacy of the ancient kings. What's the turn timer? Have we only got one turn to capture it? In which case we've got no chance. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, seal of... Ialcios or something like that. More influence, less recruitment cost. Okay, whatever. Hmm. So I think that's that's the island of Rhodes, isn't it? Yeah, province roads. So these are just all standard missions, they're not part of our epic quest line. So the only thing we have to do for that is to build the labyrinth gardens. Alright, so where were we? Uh, there we were. So the three territory we want are these three islands. So can we can we I can't get back into Manoa in one turn. Let's just stay here for a turn. That'll um keep the public order 
good so when we move away we can leave it for longer I do like that plus 40 gold and we know it's still okay creeping up but it should be fine So we could upgrade Lapa for a little bit more gold as well. We can build growth. I don't think we really need it. We're already building up level four settlements, so let's not worry about growth. Give us influence, but we've got pretty good influence on the region. We'll go for more food. Yeah, let's keep the food coming in. That lets us field more, at least low tier armies. Can't afford anything else. And then we can, yeah, we'll upgrade that. And that's probably it. Yeah, we've only got 300 wood left, so... I don't think you can do anything. I'm going to wait two more turns. Garrison hero, yeah, we know that. Alright, let's end the turn. No way I'm paying for a normal aggression pact. Okay, this is Wrath. Oh, I hate these. Who have you damaged now? Oh my god, Ithaca, that's going to cost us a fortune. Good, not good. So they're sitting in their capital with a full stack. I don't want to declare war when they're doing that, really. Although saying that, maybe if we take one of their um, lesser settlements, they'll they might come out. Ideal scenario is that they've got nothing defending the capital, and we just sneak in there and take it before they can get back but they're not, at, they're not at war with anyone though so they've got no reason to leave alright well we will um, it's the spy isn't it Okay, let's end the turn at that. I think we'll probably end this episode as well. We've been playing for a reasonable amount of time. No, we don't want that barter agreement.
So yeah, so we'll end the episode um, once this turn completes, and um, next time we can consider how we're going to go about um, taking out um, Nassos. Um, that's not bad, but they don't really like us. We might can probably get a better deal elsewhere if we really want the extra wood. Maybe. Okay, we've got another mission here. So. Agree to initiate the cult is greyed out. The old guys look eager to go to the strange ragged man. They're probably waiting for this chance. All right, so what, what does it say here? So you trek towards the massive rock under which Heracles buried the Hydra's once immortal head. Visible from afar at the heart of a great marshland, a strange camp has sprouted at the marshland's borders, full of people in rags moving erratically as if something moves their bodies from within heedless of the fetid water that sometimes goes up to their knees. A small man in a strange cloak seems to be the one that all others defer to. A priest, maybe? The priest comes closer, and you realise why his cloak seems strange. It is made of snake skin. But how could a snake be that big? I am Zemios. Have you come for the initiations? He asks in a spine-chilling, sibilant voice. Okay, so... We can threaten them. They don't look like much, but threatening them might lead to a fight. The lives could be lost. Agree to go through the initiation. Joining the Hydra cult might be a good way to find the Hydra itself, but your friends might not recognise you afterwards. Okay. Exchange supplies for information. You've never seen trade incur the wrath of strangers. These men are surely no different. Hmm. This is intriguing, isn't it? So, your friends might not recognise you afterwards. Um, don't think we're going to threaten them. So there's a choice between trade or initiation. You just know we're going to go initiation, don't you? Okay, so... Uh, oh, that's just one of our heroes coming back to action. Alright, so we agree to go through the initiation. You, you declared that your men could go through the rites in due time, but for now, you will go through them yourself. Zemios looks satisfied. Yes, it is the head that controls the body, after all. I was the first two. Come along. Zemios' followers make way for you too. You will not be harmed, Zemios tells you, mostly for the benefit of your companions. <laughs> he leads you to the massive rock and gestures to a pile next to it. More eggs? He gives you one. It is big enough so that you can hold it in both your hands, and pliable, like a water skin. Zemios pierces it with a nail and tells you, this is, a, this is an unfertilized clutch. It is only meant for us children. The taste is almost non-existent, but the sound, immediately after you swallow, it fills your head. It calls to you from beyond the camp. You know the way. What will you become at the end of it? Yikes. Okay, so the expedition gains a hydro egg, which is soft, elastic, and pulsating. Touching it makes you shiver in disgust and excitement. Your hero devotes himself to the cult of the hydra, and we gain experience. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so. Oh, so he's got a passive regeneration. That's nice. And a bit of damage resistant. So he's going to gain more damage resistance at higher cult levels. All right. And we've got an ancillary. 10% for Hydra units and damage resistance. Once we actually get them. Nice. Alright, well, we are going to leave it here. We will continue in the next episode. In the meantime, be strong, be kind to each other, and I'll see you next time.